Uh, guys welcome back to my channel well as I had my official assessment and I've been clinically diagnosed I can now say welcome to Beanie Biker I am the autistic rider so right now I am heading I'm heading to the garage as I'm, uh, I'm running low on fuel got one bar left um, I'm hoping I have my Insta360 X2 camera in the correct settings as um, last time they weren't and I spent an hour out riding and let's just say that my video footage um, as you can see from a couple of videos ago didn't kind of didn't turn out how I wanted it to so we're um, I've changed the settings a little my screen at the moment on the dash is playing up a little um, I can't seem to be able to select um, my music it's playing but for some reason I can't bring up the thing so I think once I've stopped for fuel I think it will reset and it will be able to go back into my music settings and I should be able to scroll through my music as I go along so and for those that say you shouldn't listen to music when riding my music is not overly so loud that I cannot hear my bike so it's just something in the background you know that's why you notice when I go along saying you know Cardo you know turn the music down kind of thing I'm not going to say the exact thing because I don't want it to turn it down where they wouldn't hear it. Alright, let's just do a little turn around here. <coughs> there we go. I didn't even have to put my feet down there. I had my feet out, but I didn't put them down. So, and as you can see, it's a sort of a wide road to turn around in. So, this has got a pretty good turning circle. So, we'll let this old boy go. You have quite a lot of uh, people out today. It's uh, Easter Friday, so I've got 36 miles remaining. Let's get to uh, a garage, put a bit of fuel in my bike. It's a bit nippy today. It says 12 degrees, but I know from uh, my phone it was saying 8 degrees. So I can definitely feel that coming through on my legs. I'm just wearing my Revit dirt trousers today, so you know they are basically summer trousers. I've got a summer base layer underneath those just to uh, give me a little bit of insulation. It's not too bad, but there is a bit of a chill. Fuel is on the agenda. Absolutely beautiful day today really is lovely probably one of the cheapest places on the island at the moment so pound fifty three point nine. keep on loving you yeah see my music hasn't gone off um, there's a delay in my TFT today it's happened before happened when I went away to uh, the UK it was a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, and yeah my phone's disconnected now it took its bloody time I tell you right let's uh, hide this from the camera stick my wallet in my pocket oh yes and then we can stick the card in my wrist Not out on the Harley today, Dan. <laughs> I'm on a GS now. I've still got my GSXR, but I got rid of the Harley a very long time ago. <laughs> uh, this is a lot more comfortable for long rides. Yeah, they are. So. 
too much for Jersey, but the 750 is ideal for taking off road as well. So, yeah, well, it's an 850cc, but it's a 750 model. So, the difference between the 850 and 750 is this has got a 19 inch wheel, whereas the 850 has got a 21. But this turns a lot better on roads and stuff, so. Yeah, well, oh, it's the biggest selling bikes uh, anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, just uh, yeah, just doing some vlogging, trying out my new 360 camera on the back. Looks like a drone's flying above you when you're riding. So, just want to get some good footage. Will do. Just took the sound resonator out. So still got a standard exhaust on, but all I've done is drop the box out the bottom. That's it. So. All right, get my music on now. There we go. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, There you go, so the computer's resetted itself. As you can see, I've got my music on the dash now. So, that was uh, of my old mate Dan. Used to play pool with him down Gorey. He's got a Harley Davidson uh, Sportster, I think, uh, 1200. I think it's a Sportster, I'm not sure. So, surprised you're not out on, on it today in this weather. He's a uh, he's the type of guy that like just rides around the island. I don't think he's ever actually taken his bike off the island. I could be wrong. If I am, and you're watching this, Dan, I apologise. So, but he always turns up for the uh, the big rides, like the big ride outs. I don't attend those anymore. Um, I don't see the point of uh, sitting in a tail doing, you know, 20 mile an hour because you're stuck in a number. It doesn't interest me anymore. I don't need to. Oh, sorry, caught a bit of puke up in my mouth. Yeah, didn't taste nice. I don't need to ride in massive groups anymore to feel that I belong. I tried that, you know. I tried being in the clubs. I guess my differences to other people, they couldn't handle that or didn't accept that. Unfortunately, I'm one of these people that blurts out stuff. It's, in, you know, it's not that I do it intentionally, it's just, um, something will like come in my head and I'll just pop it out straight away. I don't think what I'm about to say. I just say it and it can get me in a bit of trouble. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those. Some people are accepting, some people aren't. Some people are racists and some people aren't. You know, it's one of those. Can't change it, can't change them. You can educate them, but you can't change them if they don't want to change. So, I just avoid the, uh, the clubs now. I've got no interest in clubs. Too much politics. I think I'm going to have to open up my bloody vents, man. I'm getting a bit hot. Bloody hell, it's 11 degrees, but I'm feeling very hot inside my jacket. Uncomfortably warm. Let's uh, just stick this on cruise. On cruise, yeah. there we go. On cruise. Let's stick it on cruise so I can open up some vents on my jacket. Right, we're gonna go. We go that way. Go open that vent up as well. Let's 
that's what I like about uh, thingy. You can see that they're just nice and open. Don't have to fiddle around. They zip up and it's got like a metal tab. Here's the old boys again. Hopefully this puts a bit of uh, air inside my jacket. Might have to take my. Uh, might have to take the um, the insulation out. I'm going to open the vents up on my trousers though. Let's have a look here. I'm just going to stand up and do this. That's one. Let's uh, just stick this on cruise. Where's the zip? There it is. And that's two. There we go. My zips are open. Vents are open. Get some air inside my trousers. So, let's talk about, um, if you're interested in listening, Talk about my trips for the year that I've got planned. I have in June the ABR Festival. Uh, that's in Ragley, that's at Ragley Hall. So I'll be going to um, going to that. So I think they've got a 30 kilometre off-road section, which I'm looking forward to doing. Because we don't have many places to go off-road in Jersey which is a shame I mean, yeah we've got all these fields and stuff but I don't think the farmers would be happy us tearing up and down their fields um, my in-laws have a farm they don't mind me going down there occasionally down in the valley and stuff I'll have to record that one day um, that's, uh, that's, that's hard work that, hard slogging especially when you drop the bike my god is it uh, hard work so but we'll have to do a, a video on that in the future and then um, my second trip for the year hopefully as in planning stages at the moment is to go for a week down in the Pyrenees um, on my bike um, what I planned to do was to just hit the motorway in France shoot all the way down to Bordeaux cross the border down into Spain and then from Spain hit the Pyrenees from that point across go into Andorra and then come back up through France and then basically come up through the middle of France um, and that's I've, I've planned that for like a week so that would be a bit of a hard slog down but I'll take my time around the Pyrenees but then basically hit the motorways to come back and to go so to get there motorway all the way down just get to the Pyrenees then uh, taking all the mountains and stuff because um, I've never been down there I want to go down there and have a look at it and then um, when I come back across the border of Andorra into France uh, I just smash the motorway all the way back up to uh, St. Malo so that's my, my week away I have planned so I know some of the boys from Jersey they, they've done it in like a long weekend and stuff but I want to go down and enjoy myself. I don't want to be stipulated to a time schedule. I just want to go down, ride, you know, ride around, stop for lunches, have a walk around, jump back on the bike, go find somewhere to camp. That's basically my plan for the week. There won't be anything booked. Um, I'm not going to book any campsites or any accommodation. I'll just turn up if, if there's accommodation there, you know, it doesn't cost much, I pay about 20 euros or something for a night on a campsite. So I'll turn up and if they say no we're full, I'll be like fine, I'll go off down a mile down the road and I'll just pitch up on the side of the road. Because, you know, France, Spain, Andorra, you can wild camp. So it's not an issue. So, but those are my plans for the year. Um, I've got no one coming with me on the trip to um, the Pyrenees yet. I've uh, invited my brother and a few friends. You know, the options there if they want to come along. I must say, um, my tyres that I'm on, I'm on the Karoo Freeze. They're like a 50-50 tyre. And okay, I don't 
we don't do speeds enough over here to kill them. So in the UK, national speed limit's like 60 and 70 mile an hour. So yeah, you're gonna shred the tire on the tarmac. But over here, ours is 30 and 40. So we're not actually killing off our tires. So, so far, I've got 2,000 miles off these uh, tires, which I'm impressed with because there seems to be no tear or wear on them. I know that will change when I get to the UK. I know that I'm gonna go through these tires like no tomorrow. You know, that's a, that's a given, it's a standard. But once these are dead and gone, I still have my Bridgestone A41s, my Adventure 41s, I've still got those ones. Um, so what I'll do is dump these and I'll just throw these back on the bike and then I'll wear, the, I'll wear those down on my trip to the Pyrenees or whatever. I think I had about 4,000 miles on um, the other ones. But, you know, they, there's plenty of mileage left on those tyres. And they're a nice good tyre as as well they're nice and sticky I'm just debating if I'm gonna do a lot of off-roading when I get down to the Pyrenees I know there's some tracks you can go on and um, yeah so there's there's tracks down there which you can go on they lead like these old forts and stuff in the mountains and I've seen one of them and I'd love to get up there and just to camp one night in one of these old forts in the top in the mountain passes That'd be quite cool. Hey Cardo, volume up. That's something I've been reading recently. Um, Germany, let's uh, let's thank their cotton socks. Eh? Germany's managed to turn around and say to the EU that no, we will not get rid of the ice. Where ice is basically the uh, combustion engine. So they're um, they're basically they're going to try and find. A fuel source that doesn't give off any emissions so we get to keep the bikes and make all our lovely noises on the bike like you know all the engine noises that sound brilliantly and that's why we ride that's an interesting number plate J2222 all the ducks in a line look at that it's a nice number plate to have wouldn't waste my money on it though number plate probably worth more than the bloody car See this, this here, I mean, look at it, look at this valley, beautiful, I mean if we could go off road and go through there, that would be awesome, that's a shame, you know, I understand, you know, you got all the farming, you've got the sheep and all the, all the little baby lambs down in there, they're not out today, I haven't seen them, but I do know they're in this field. But there are some lovely areas where we could go off-road. There you go, there's a couple of sheep and lambs out there. <laughs> 